There's no fire currently, but we're gonna simulate that today on my ADT Unimode 10UD fire alarm control panel that is mounted to one of my fire alarm demonstration boards. So today we're gonna be doing some testing to show you how it all works. I do have a unique set of alarms installed today on the demonstration board, so let me go ahead and show you them. This right here is an EG 1AV LED horn strobe. I have to say I'm a huge fan of the newer LED horn strobes and strobes just because they save a ton of power and they just look cool when they're going off. So the strobe is right now set on 15 candela. I do have the panel coding this alarm to the system sensor sync setting that it has and that's just because it's the only sync setting that somewhat works with this alarm. It might skip a couple beats here and there but it allows this alarm to have audible silence, which for a demonstration board, I kind of like. To the right, I have a system sensor HW horn and a Tectone Medic Alert corridor light. So I have these set so that they both go off when a Tectone emergency medical switch gets activated, which I'll do that later in the test. The alarm furthest to the right is a system sensor HW-LF low frequency sounder horn only. If you haven't heard a low frequency sounder before, it definitely makes a unique sound. And the reason it makes a lower frequency of sound is because studies have shown that the lower frequency will help you wake up faster in deeper sleep. So it's common for these alarms to be placed in sleeping areas such as a hotel room. The alarm itself is set on continuous, however the fire alarm control panel is coding it to California code. So it'll go for a little bit and then it'll stop for a little bit allowing you to hear the EG1AV. This right here is my Firelight ANN80 fire alarm enunciator and then right here I have a heat detector and a smoke detector. This one's the heat, this one's the smoke. I'm not going to be testing either of these two today. But if you want to see them being tested, I have plenty of other videos in this series where I test them. Going down, I just have one pole station today. It is an Edwards 279B-1110. And as you can see, it's the model that has the screwdriver reset on top. For those of you that knew me when I first started collecting fire alarms, you know that I wanted this type of pole station for the longest time. And today I'm honored to actually have a few of them in my collection. And I'm super happy to be able to use this on my fire alarm demonstration board today and make videos of it. This silver piece right here is a Simplex 2098 remote indicator switch. I right now have it being used as the fire drill feature that this fire alarm control panel has to offer. Basically you put the key in and turn it to test and it will set all the fire alarms off. And then when you turn it back to normal, it will stop all the fire alarms, allowing you to not have to mess with any of the buttons on the fire alarm control panel. And then lastly, I do have these Tectone medical alert pull cords, which I will pull one of them today to demonstrate the medical alert alarms that I have. All right, it's time to set off some alarms. So today we're gonna start off by demonstrating that fire drill feature I was talking about earlier. And we'll go ahead and activate the key switch. Here we go. Well that was a quick test, and the reason why it was so quick is because we're about to set everything off again, simulating a real fire by pulling the actual fire alarm pull station. Let's go ahead and do that. Lift, then pull handle for fire. Here we go.
right, the fire alarms have been silenced. And yes, this alarm definitely is a little wonky when it's on that system sensor sync. But the strobe is still flashing when it is silenced, which is the audible silence that I was talking about. All right, as the LED strobe blinks in the background, we're gonna go ahead and reset this Edwards pull station. In order to do that, I have to stick the flathead screwdriver in the top here, but the smoke detector is in the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the smoke detector head, which will put the panel into trouble. I just went ahead and acknowledged the trouble. And all we have to do is put the screwdriver in the top here, open up the pull station, flip the switch, make sure the handles are set, and then close up the pull station. There we go. It's all reset, and then we just have to put the smoke detector head back. Just like that. And we'll go ahead and push the reset button on the fire alarm control panel, which will clear out the alarm. There we go. That system sensor Spectre Alert Advanced Horn Only is set on continuous, so this is going to be loud. Alright, here we go. I think we'll go ahead and pull this one today. So they're really simple. You just pull down, and to reset it, you just push it back up. So here we go. All right, make sure that is reset. That was loud, and I think that's gonna do it for this system test today. Thank you for watching, rate, comment, and subscribe. Go check out some of my other videos, and have a great day, everyone.